you know, I've come to the conclusion I should stop giving dates of when I'm going to do something and just kind of do it when I can. I promised to do this like two weeks ago and I did not do it and I went to Puerto Rico for vacation. I came back. I've been back at work. I haven't really had time. So I keep coming across like a liar when I said, oh, I'm going to do this video tomorrow and I don't do it tomorrow. I'm going to do this this day and I don't do it. So I think I should pro I, I try to make the schedule or at least give you a heads up, but it's it's hard, you know, when you have a child and work and you have all these things to do. It's hard. But I always uh, deliver on my promises sooner or later, some days later, clearly. I will deliver my promise. So here we are unboxing the steel book of Scream 6. <laughs> this for like I don't know three weeks now or whatever and I'm gonna unbox it now I chose to unbox The Last of Us first uh, Resident Evil uh, Death Island uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time speaking about this movie because I did review this movie in my channel when it came out and overall I'm just gonna tell you I actually really quite liked it a lot go watch Scream 6 y'all Scream 6 was a ton of fun I laughed I fucking screamed <laughs> screamed no pun intended and it was just Overall, a great film. Go watch it. Quite a lot. So, yeah. Bigger, bloodier, and scarier Scream 6. So, I did unbox uh, 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 Scream 5 last year. In which I made a joke about how it was just called Scream and not Scream 5. But yet, we have Scream 6 now. So, Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, Scream, Scream 6. Like, that is so stupid to me. It should have just always have been called Scream 5 because now this makes it even worse. But overall, I quite enjoy Scream 6 from when I watched it at the theater. I talked about how I liked uh, the fact that they took it in New York. I just wish it was a little bit bigger set pieces in more recognizable uh, places like Manhattan and stuff like that, Times Square. Uh, we didn't have any of that. That was like my one gripe with the New York setting. It was a different setting and it was good for the movie. I just wish I used bigger locations from New York for you to go like, you know, Jason takes Manhattan. The scene of Jason in, in, in Times Square is iconic. So, yeah, overall, I, I like the brutality of the movie. It was by far probably the most bloodiest scream yet. So, yeah, overall, I quite liked it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not talking too much about it. Here's the cover. I like how he's clearly in the subway. You see the, all the broken glass. I don't know what's in the back. We'll remove this piece of plastic. I get. I always get rid of these because they cover the back art. And see, they cover the back art. Here's an apple, you know, New York with a with the knife right there on it. That's actually a pretty sweet, pretty simple but sweet back. We open the inside and we'll take the coat out. A basic ass disc. The inside, it's ghost face. And the city all behind Ghostface. I quite actually like this a lot. Hard to see because of the reflection. But I think this is pretty. This, I think this is a pretty nice steel book. I think. I think it's better than one from five. And yeah, I really like this. I really like this movie. I think you should watch it. Um, if you haven't, they, they apparently Scream Seven is happening. Uh, but it won't be with the same directors from Scream 5 and 6. So I am super excited for the fact that we're getting a Scream 7. Because this franchise honestly has shows no signs of slowing down. Uh, I know a lot of people are iffy on like Scream 4. I love Scream 4. I've never understood why Scream 4. That along with 3. 3 is the other one that gets a lot of like, oh, not that good. Uh, 3 is definitely the weakest thing. But I, I've, I've always loved Love Scream 4. So, yeah, I never understood really the hate towards that one. So, I overall, though, I still stand by my point that I feel like the franchise as a whole, we're six movies in. And even, like, the, I guess that the worst Scream would be probably 3. And I still find enjoyment in Scream 3. I still have a good time whenever I watch it. I still laugh. Like, I laugh with the other ones. And, yeah, the kills are quite lame on that one. But still... It's all still pretty good. Like, you can't go wrong with Scream. So, uh, Scream 7, I mean, the momentum's still there. Six films, six I still all enjoy. 
And yeah, bring Scream 7. As long as it's good, will Sydney return in Scream 7? We shall see. But Scream 6 rocks, even though she's not in it. But if she comes back, she'll be welcome back. So the digital code to Scream 6. Uh, in 3, a 2, a 1, go. If you need more time, pause the video like I always say. Let me know who wins it. I don't know what movie's coming next, unboxing wise, and um, I don't know what's next, but something will become next. This isn't the end. The end? Don't bet on it. This has been the one, the only Brian Redgrave. Redgrave, out. Sorry that it took so long.